Today I'm meeting an old friend who has an interest in antiques and we are going to explore the London Silver Vaults. Silver's still a great thing. It's one of our most precious metals. It's one of our most important industries. The reason why people buy British silver is because we introduced a hallmarking system that was effectively the first customer guarantee system anywhere in the world. And working in silver, you naturally gravitate towards the silver vaults because this is the hub of all of the things that, you know, we do in this business. What hit me when I first came was the, the selection. You know, having been in the antique business most of my life, I couldn't believe how vast it was. The London Silver Vaults is the largest stock of silver anywhere in the world. We get inquiries for everything. The oldest silver that I know of here would be Elizabethan. Some vaults might have something even older. And funnily enough, I find that the older the silver, the less one needs to polish it. Can you just tell me a little bit about this piece, please? Well, this is the oldest piece in the shop. It's from the time of Queen Anne, 1705, over 300 years old. And it's a little porridge bowl or soup bowl. And it is Britannia standard silver. And instead of having the lion, uh, it has Britannia with her standard on the hallmarks. Okay. Take a look. I think it's beautiful, and I'd rather like to have a pair. I'm afraid I can't help you there, because it's a one-off. Oh, so if we bought that, that would be it. There wouldn't be anywhere else to find another one. Then I must right. have it. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't go sort of trekking around Chile. You couldn't sort of buy a new BMW. You know, people spent money on houses, furniture, paintings, silver, servants. Here we've got place settings to demonstrate the last 300 years of silver design. OK. Joel, can I ask you a question? Do you have a favourite? If I said to you now to sit at this table, where would you sit? Gosh, um, truly, I'd, I'd want to do that occasion. That would be your favourite? For fun, yes. I think that would be for me as well, I have to say. I've been here now for 36, 37 years. And what made you go into this business? Well, I've always been attracted. I always find it's a lovely, interesting, fascinating business. You're always learning, and one meets interesting people as well. No two days are the same, and I really love coming to work because I never know who I'm going to meet. We get a lot of quite famous film stars, people you see, celebrities in the paper, some very famous actors, and as a royal watcher, it's heaven. With old silver, how that's made is it, it's hammered out of one sheet of metal by hand. And when later on in the 20th century, they used to use a lot of spinning on machines. And of course, you can get the same sort of look, but the hammering of a metal makes the, makes the metal hard. Silver was expensive in the 18th century because of the metal, and the labour was cheap. Right. Nowadays, the metal in that would be, say, 150 pounds, but the labour involved would be six times the price. We do get a lot of tourists down here. They want to come and see a lot of fabulous things in one place. But a lot of people do come down to buy significant presents. I always say to people, I don't sell investment jewellery, I sell pleasure. If somebody can get pleasure from the piece of jewellery which we have, I'm happy.